Hello everybody and welcome to another first look impressions video from me Penta Hybrid. We are today looking at Dungeons of Adira. This is a game by Monster Tooth Studios. It's going to be coming out tomorrow as of the day that this video comes out because I believe I'm publishing this on Thursday the 27th. It is releasing into early access on the 28th. And uh, I was fortunate enough to get a copy of the game from Monster Tooth Studios to check it out. So thank you very much, Monster Tooth. I appreciate you reaching out and letting me check out your game. It looks pretty good. Uh, as it says on the Steam page, Dungeons of, Dungeons of Adira is a roguelite adventure, action adventure, RPG dungeon crawler featuring procedurally generated dungeon levels where you will battle through hordes of monsters to restore Adira to its former glory. It probably sounds familiar. It's kind of the running theme of pretty much every roguelite nowadays is, you know, nameless hero, runs through dungeon, kills things, collects stuff, dies, restarts. And I'm, I'm kind of expecting that this is going to be the similar thing you can see. It's in build 0.8.3. So getting closer to that release, release build, but I don't know what the release window for it is. I know it is releasing into early access. It's not releasing into 1.0 as far as I know tomorrow. But yeah, let's jump into... I see there's two different modes here. There's Dungeon Runner and Campaign, and I'm guessing Campaign is like their story mode. I don't know how fledged out that is. And then there's Dungeon Runner, which when you hover over it, it says, Jump straight into the dungeons with a random character and every talent available for unlock. Character death is permanent, but 15% of gold will be refunded to your stash. So what I'm guessing is that's your true roguelite mode, where you just drop into a dungeon with a character and try to survive. And then the 15% transfer to your stash seems very much like a Rogue Legacy style situation where I'm guessing you can use that money to then upgrade perhaps some other stuff. Let's jump into the campaign first and foremost. Let's check this out real quick. Let's see what the campaign has to offer. We may jump into a dungeon runner at some point in the video too. Just to see what both modes offer for the for the person who's anticipating playing it. Now I'm going to test this out real quick. The Steam page listed as partial controller support, which I'm guessing means the menus are mouse and keyboard and the game is controller. Long has the continent of Adira been ruled by the Oswari Empire, keeping peace among the numerous factions of peoples who live within their boundaries with fair leadership and representation. The peace did not last, however, as the line of emperors became corrupt with greed and power, and as they began to launch campaign after campaign to claim even more land and riches. Their demand on their subjects grew ever more until they'd reached a breaking point. A rebellion was born, as the factions of the North banded together to march into the heartland of the Empire to put a stop to it. The hard-fought rebellion was broken at the foot of Norak, the Empire's prized capital. But with the Oswari spread so thin, they were able to broker a truce. The Oswaris granted them their independence in return for an end to the fighting. But as the years passed, and the faction's anger and pain against the Oswaris were forgotten, old rivalries began to surface between the Arbinum State, the Sufrak clans, and the Wakara bands, breaking the trust between the factions of Adira. This does not go unnoticed by the Oswari Empire, whose ever-aggressive emperor looks upon the free lands of Adira with hungry eyes. You and your family lived a simple life within the Arbidum state as farmers, making a living bringing crops to market every year, nothing out of the ordinary happening until two years ago, with the arrival of a mysterious man who stumbled onto your farm, barely clinging to his life. He was injured and on the verge of death, and your parents, kind-hearted folk, tended to his wounds and allowed him to work on the farm while he slowly recovered. You came to know this man as Scovis and grew quite fond of him as he taught you simple sword fighting techniques and enchanted you with his tales of adventure all over the world. Scovis was always talking about- Hey kid. Okay. Hey kid. I apologize for skipping that, but <laughs> you okay? We need to see if anyone is still alive and what we can salvage. Take this. I took it from one of those Oswari dogs. Oh, uh, okay. That's that's a little weird. 
I'm controlling the cursor with the uh, controller, but it's actually still a mouse. So I apologize for skipping the exposition at the start, but it had been two minutes of dialogue, and as much as I would love to treat this as like your standard playthrough, this is more of a first impression slash initial review of what the game state is before it comes out, and then you guys can decide whether or not you want to pick it up. If you guys are interested in the story, I'm going to be real with you, I don't really care about stories in roguelites. I never have. I just, the gameplay needs to be good. I don't care if, you know, the prince and the, you know, princess are safe. As long as I can play the game and the gameplay is solid and the loop is there, I'm good. But if you guys are into the story and you want to get it yourselves, I'm going to allow you to pick up the game yourselves and, or watch somebody else who's doing like a full, full playthrough of it. But for me, what matters here on this channel is gameplay, not story. Again, Monster 2, nothing negative to your writing. I'd appreciate the writing, and it was actually very well done, but I don't have time for five minutes of dialogue. I'm sorry. Uh, kid, hey kid, we already did that, so how do I use... How do I use this? Nothing to it, kiddo. Either swing or thrust. Whatever feels natural to you. A thrust. Want me to kill? Sorry to ruin your interpretation of what is right and just. But this is what war really is. Either you defend yourself and kill those who want you dead, or join those you see laying on the ground. I'm sorry this happened. I only see one guy laying on the ground, my dude. soldiers, or we will be next. Those are time for survivors and try not to die. Got it. Absolutely. Okay, so. Oh, so they can't. Oh boy. Okay, so this is a definite control. Uh, not controller game. <laughs> Definitely not a controller game, okay. Ooh, FPS is not liking the settings that I'm at, so let's try and drop the, uh... Drop that down to 60, and see if we can get a consistent 60. Oh yeah, we can get a consistent 60. I'm fine with 60. I had it running at 144, and it was staying, stay, sitting around, like, 90. And, uh... I can't kill him. Can I loot? I'm guessing right... Right click is shield. Left click is swing. So how do I... How do I thrust, then? You said swing or thrust. How do I thrust? Space is dash backwards. I see my stamina meter up there. Oh, space is just dodge, okay. Is this a Minecraft? Can I can I collect wood? <laughs> I need to lower the sensitivity too. Mouse and keyboard, is there a sensitivity here? Good lord, for your sake, as a developer, there better be a sensitivity setting. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm not seeing one. I'm not <sighs> Monster Tooth. First criticism <laughs> for the love of all that is holy in this world. Please give your players of your video game a mouse sensitivity setting. This is me flicking my like in a first person shooter, like a flick. This is me flicking to my left. That's almost almost 180 degrees, just a small flick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with it for now. Uh hopefully oh god, that's that's so high. Hopefully you guys implement mouse sensitivity, that would be amazing. Uh, fast motion mouse, like, super, super, like, sensitive mouse move, movement, yeah, movements, not only are just, like, terrible for a game like this, like, a first-person shooter, cool, I get it, people like playing with high sensitivity, I don't, I would much rather, is that a bad guy? That is a bad guy, okay. I would, uh, much prefer... A lower movement arc in uh, in a game like this, and in, in like a third person, you know, third person action game. Okay, the guys seem pretty easy. I don't think there's any loot, honestly. What is F? Ah, shield bash, and then G is Healy Boy. Okay. This is the campaign, so this isn't actually like the dungeon crawler part of it. So I wonder if this is actually still. 
a roguelite mode like if this is like or if this is just like the campaign of the game in the roguelite mode is specifically the dungeon runner situation we'll figure it out we are definitely going to be doing the dungeon runner before the end of this though just to see what that offers because if that is the roguelite part of it that is going to be more more my speed oh he did drop a potion e to pick up health potion you can clearly see that it is definitely early access, and that's that's not like a negative, because obviously things in development are not going to look as polished, but you can definitely tell animations aren't exactly the most fluid yet. The HUD is very, very minimal, and the the I'm guessing it's a placeholder font for everything. I'm guessing it's a placeholder font, at least for... I mean, the HUD font looks good, but like for the picking up font, you can see that it's kind of your basic word font. Swift Club of the Phoenix. Chest gave me a whole bunch of gold and the cap of the lich. Lich is spelled weird, that's for sure, but I is inventory. Okay, ARPG style inventory system here. I'm a big fan of this. Word of, word of, uh, word of, not really a word of advice because obviously, like, it's under your diction, uh, or, yeah, I guess that's what I, the word I would use there, probably not, but it's, it's under your purview to do what you wish to do but I would love it if this was a grid based system and the items were think Diablo think Diablo think like you had to play inventory Tetris I love inventory Tetris in ARPGs because it means you can't just hang on to like 19 maces you had to be very careful with what you were doing Stone Shard another roguelite did that very well I love inventory Tetris in ARPGs so much again no 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 issue if you choose not to do that, but... Short Sword Common. Damage 15, block 35, attack speed 100%, stamina cost 15. Swift Club of the Phoenix, rare. One-handed melee weapon damage 18, block 35, attack speed 100, stamina cost 15, but it weighs 2 pounds, whereas my sword doesn't weigh anything. Uh, I don't see my weight system. Is this my... Wait, okay, so 3 out of 25. So that weighs 2 pounds... And then something else I must have weighs a pound. Yeah, the, the cap of the lich. Oh, I, I auto-equipped that. Okay, so cold damage and magic damage automatically. Let's put this, uh... Can I, can I dual wield? No, it's a shield only. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. And then founder's coat, 10 max health, 10 stamina, 10 mana. I'm not opposed to this at all. Talents? Skill trees. Zero points left, so you gotta level up, I'm sure. Uh, boons? Quests? Current quest is under siege, town is under attack. I need to find out where if there are any survivors reward. Random common item stats. Just your basic stats. Very cool. And then spells is a shield bash. Cool. Sounds amazing. Let's... To set hotkey, hover over the spell and press 1 to 7. Oh, that's in the... In the okay, gotcha, gotcha. Ooh, those textures. Those are some spicy textures. Alright. I don't know. I mean, I feel because... Because it is very early in development, I almost feel like I don't want to just run to the edges of the world and explore stuff. But I also do. I can't help but feel it. If they give me an open area to run around and explore in, I, I can't help but feel I need to do it. Is, are these guys respawning? Or are these just new dudes? I would say, though, before you do anything else to the game, before you add anything else, any new content, before you do anything to the game, implement uh, mouse sensitivity. I cannot see myself playing this for probably more than 45 minutes without getting motion sick. It's just a high motion. I have motion blur off. If motion blur was on, I would actually not play it. If that wasn't a setting, I wouldn't play it. But it, they, they do have a motion blur setting, fortunately. I can't break those. Jump shift and space to lock on. Tab is to lock on. Wait, so you can't just jump. Okay. Oh, no. Dude, my dude. 
Yo, okay. Okay. Alright, alright. We just got guys just charging out of nowhere. Is that our... That's okay. That's okay. Pretty, though. Very pretty. I can't, I can't wait to see what they do with the, the full... The full product, obviously. Ooh, there we go. Give me that mana potion, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, friend. Can I break your barrels? You know I can. Oh my god, I got gold and... What is this? What is this thing I can't pick up? What is this thing I can't pick up, game? Hey, it's a weird mushroom looking thing. Did I pick it up and it's just bugged on the ground? Nope, I didn't. Okay, cool, moving on. Anyway, hello, Miss Friend. Oi. Thanks. Oi. Glad you came along. Don't think I would have survived if you didn't. You'll be okay for now. Oh, I should be. Pretty sure if anything happens, you will hear the gut wrenching screams a mile away. Think you can handle the rest of the troops in town by yourself? Yeah, I'm doing alright. Good luck. Thank you. Alright. Find my parents. I don't know if I want to find my parents. I kind of want to go into the dungeon runner mode. <laughs> I didn't realize it's already been like 17 minutes. Is that a dude back there? That totally is a dude back there. Just chilling. Man, I want to know what this mushroom thing is. I'm guessing that, oh, it might be a mana. Uh, refills my mana. Let me actually test that real quick. Just out of curiosity. So if I use some mana. It is exactly. Okay, cool. It makes sense. Nice little, uh... Hello, friend. It makes so much sense, because it's a blue mushroom. I couldn't pick it up. I had full health and full mana. It just made sense. There's, there's just dudes standing around everywhere? Yeah, there's just dudes. Okay. Oh, I'm punching him. Yo, at least I can hit multiple targets. I love it when games let me hit multiple targets. That guy's got a big old sword. There's so many dudes! Can I go in the houses? No? Okay. Q and E to change targets? Cool. A hammer of sorcery? Yeah, we're gonna jump into the... Seems to be very hack and slashy. Run point point A to point B. He's got a big old axe. Holy crap. Kinda wanted to see what would happen if I level up, but I don't even know where my ex oh experience is under my uh toolbar down there. Okay. Let's run over here and see this dude then. Let's go see this guy. Hello, friend. Oh shit. No. I shift tabbed into my steam overlay. Freaking dang it, Breastplate of the... Ooh, Breastplate of the Tempest. Excuse me, my friend! I'm looking at loot! Do I interrupt you when you're looking at loot? Absolutely not, so fudge off. Alright, let's see this loot. Weaker damage attacks slightly faster. Nah. I mean, this looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Lightning damage? Is it just does it just do lightning damage? I can't tell. I'm just gonna assume it does though. I can just keep going that way. Let's find out what's uh what's up here, and then we'll switch over to the the dungeon runner mode, because that seems like it's more exactly what I was looking forward to. This does not seem like a roguelite. This seems like it's more of like a story ARPG. Uh, Kingdoms of Amalur, Diablo type of dealio. Come on and get a hold of yourself. I know you just lost your folks, but we need to regroup. There could be more of those Azuri dogs. How did you get here, Scovis? 
It's okay, kiddo. Yeah, let's go. I, I mean, like, I'm, I know I'm supposed to probably be worried about the fact that my parents are dead, but... <laughs> to be honest with you, there was, like, almost no exposition into it, so... Alright, let's go see. Doesn't seem like there's fall damage. Yeah, I'm I'm like whooping these guys as these these guys' ass with my new uh upgrades. Like these are just like a one, two, three combo. I'm assuming it gets way harder. But you know, honestly Oh dude. Did you just like Watson me? Hold on. Oh, he is running behind me. I thought he was doing the Watson. I thought he was just, you know, straight up popping behind me. Right, let's doink this guy real quick. I don't know why I'm doinking him. I don't think he did anything to deserve the doinking. But I can break barrels, that's confirmed. Okay, I can break some barrels. Bro, you came out of nowhere. Alright, let's let us I, I, I let's jump into the, the dungeon runner mode. Very early access campaign mode so far, but I'm I was pitched the roguelite uh Part. So I'm guessing the roguelite art is exactly what this is. This is your run, run to run type deal, and I'm more interested in this. I maybe should have just jumped into this first, but I wanted to show the full breadth of the game. You know, parrying enemy attack to leave them open for an attack of your own. I was not taught how to parry, so hopefully we'll figure that out. Maybe it's just blocking on time. Objectives. Oh Jesus. Oh okay. Objectives. Find ten loaves of bread. We got orcs. We got orcs and I am significantly weaker than I was with my giant mace. I can't tell if there's iframes or not on the dodge. Hold on. There definitely seem to be, which is good. I want to try this parry. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know. Leather armor of the boar. Yo, battle axe of the ox. Slower attack speed, but boy is it real powerful. Holy crap. Okay, take the shield off. Requires two-handed talent. I don't have the talent to do it. How do I get two-handed talent? Dual wielding? Two-handed weapons? Unlock two-handed weapons. I need a point. I need to level up. Frig. Okay. Well, Founder's Coat. We already know what the Founder's Coat does. I mean, the leather armor of the board does give us crit chance and health, but I mean, like, this gives me plus ten health, so... Are they statues thingies? No. Okay. Yo, it's an imp. Yo, it's an imp. Yo, that imp don't give no head. Damn's about my whether my shield is up or not. You guys are far tougher than the weak boys in the campaign mode. That's for sure. Be it artificial difficulty or not. I've got lockpicks. So there's a, there's, there is actually some lockpicking techniques. Is this a trap? No, that's the bread. Okay. <laughs> Random gr grass bread. Okay, I got gotcha. you. See that chest on there? Oh, shield bash for a kill? What an absolute boss. I hope they work on the added braces of slaying. I hope they work on the controller support. This feels like it's definitely a controller game. Oh, I'm wearing Gauntlets of the Snake. Two mana, two health. Zero armor. They increase my damage. Yo, those are just like about like a thousand percent better than everything I have. Maybe it is good. I mean, maybe maybe my issues with it aren't that it's doesn't feel like it's got that it needs controller support. Maybe I'm more just like I want mouse sensitivity settings. 
Because it's so high. But I don't want to dwell on that. Amulet of the Tempest. Yo, what are those? Look, there's freaking too many guys over there. Everything auto-equips, that's kind of nice, plus one lightning damage. Gotta kill you before that guy comes in. He also gets iframes. Noted. I'm... Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, my guy. Robe of the Ox. Maybe stuff auto-equipping isn't my favorite thing, because I, I think things are just auto-equipping now. Lifesteal, cold damage. So the one I have equipped is worse. I want the I want this one. Fire damage and lifesteal. I feel like lifesteal is definitely something I want. That's a mana thing. Oh dear. Okay, please lock onto the one that's closer to me. Thank you, thank you. We got more bread. Let's go. Clearly a trap. I don't know what exactly... Oh, I can see the trap. It's just so hidden. Okay. You can see it's outlined there. Like, just barely. You can see the holes in the ground. Interesting. Okay. So now we gotta, we gotta, we know we not, now we gotta watch out for those. I don't want to deal with this guy. I don't want to deal with this guy. This guy's tough. Never mind. He's easy. I did it. I have a bow. Nice. Guessing that one was just gold. Okay. Green mushrooms must be health. Okay, so let's look at this bow real quick. Even those guys running up on me. Card is the ranged talent. No, let's take care of this guy first. Bro, you need to mess. You need to you need to mess. You need to get out of here, boy. Okay. Ooh. Buckler. There's so many items. Little item overload here, okay. Uh, currently equipped is one armor, this is two armor. Equip it. Currently equipped is... Wait, I only have the short sword equipped. Oh, because I don't have the two-handed talent yet. Do I have a talent point yet? I don't. I didn't see if I leveled up, no. Magic damage... There's a range talent. Armor one... It's just, it's just worse. It gives me an attack speed increase? Is that what I'm seeing here? Does that g actually give me an attack speed increase? Or is that just, uh... I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, sure, we'll use the, uh... We'll use the falchion. We'll use the falchion. Do what that's all about. Hmm... Oh, more traps. Not seeing them is a tough, tough thing. Not locking onto the guy that's close to me is also kind of a tough thing, but minor complaints for a. Uh... Oh, he's got Archer here. Okay. That must be a level up then. <laughs> oh, he's through the wall. Okay. <laughs> All right. What's up, my guy? Oh, yeet. He's gone. <laughs> oh, somebody just walked through a trap. Okay. <laughs> Keep in mind. This is early access, everybody. Keep that in mind. Do remember. I want to see what the boss looks like. That's my goal for the end of this. I want to see. I want to make it through a level of the state. Level of the... Okay, let's see. Let me get through a level of this and see what the boss looks like. I want to see a boss. If there are bosses. Assuming there are bosses. I did level up, so I do I do want to... Well, 
Uh, I, I mean, I kind of want to get two-handed so I can use that badass axe. I mean, Sharp Hammer the Phoenix seems pretty good, too. Kind of want to see how archery works, though. Damage 20, block 65, attack speed 92. I mean, it does just seem, like, extremely good. Yeah, we'll take... Take two-handed. Let's use the big boy axe. Let's see what the big boy axe is up to. Very light swing on the attack. Oh my god. Oh, yeet. Oh my god. Get roasted, dude. What's this? Oh, it's another chest. It's just a different looking chest. We got a rusty wand of Tempest. Is there a map? There's no map. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, there is a map. Okay, please. Um. There's kind of a map. There's a mini map in the top left, for sure. Armor 6, 1 plus 1 health. Yeah, let's take the armor 6 plus 1 health. I'll take some defense in this, these, these trying times. One-handed offhand. Casting speed. So what what So I, I can't use it because I don't have any spells, I'm guessing. Yeah, I don't have any spells, so let's go back to my axe. No, take take the take the take the the, the freaking wand off. Get out of here. Oh no. There we go. Boy. Oh dear. These traps. These traps, man. You will die when your health reaches zero. But my health did reach zero, though. Look these archers. I, I can't hit them with the reach of this axe, man. <laughs> Where's this trap? Where's this trap that I was stepping on? Oh, there it is. Very, uh... Awkward. Oh my god. Okay, please lock onto the guy that's close to me, though. Lord. It's like Dark Souls, where it's like, hey, do you want to lock onto the guy that's across the map from you? No, I would like to lock onto the guy that I'm next to. <laughs> Thank you. Gee. I forgot I hit healing potions this entire time. Oh my god. What an idiot. Um... Okay. <laughs> okay. That was a uh, that was exciting. Oh my god. Okay. Another chest here. I do enjoy yeeting the dudes into the air. Don't let that get twisted. I do enjoy yeeting the gentlemen into the air. You, yeah, would you like? You would love it if this was like an ARG like type of room where you had to light all the torches and then. Like a secret door would open up. Maybe that's something they're intending to do down the line. Mission failed! You could change this from UI time. What? What do you mean, mission failed? Okay, so mission failed, and what, I, what do I do now? Is that, am I done? Am I roasted? Am I cooked? Am I goosed? Is it just game over for Penta? Or what? Oh, I got so many freaking items, man. No, no. It's a better axe than what I'm currently using. 
Kinda. I'm gonna use it because I don't know why I wouldn't. Yeah, 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 let's put that necklace on. Seems like a good idea. Let's do it. I mean, mission failed. The hell do you mean mission failed? If I failed the damn mission, take the bread away. Don't make me keep picking up bread if the mission has failed. Stamina does regen slower when you have your block up as well. Very much a Dark Souls style of deal. Oh, that was just a slight bump on the mouse. I'm sorry for that. If that made anybody nauseous, I'm sorry about that. That was just, I hit the back, I hit the mouse with my, my, the back of my hand real quick. I was stretching my, my side. I had an itch on my side and yeah, it just bumped the mouse. That's, that's what a bump of a mouse does. With, with no sensitivity settings. I'm trying to keep it as controlled as I can. <laughs> Alright, this is the... Teleport to boss. Okay, let's see what the boss is. Okay, hello, Mr. Boss. It's a forlorn from Skyrim. Let's go. Who are you? There's a oh, okay, he's a bomb man. Oh, he's got the spells. Um, okay. I don't think I can die. <laughs> can I lie? I don't think I can die. I've died like so many times now. I <laughs> Hold on, I gotta test this. Just kill me. Is it using my potions automatically? No, I just can't die. <laughs> oh god, I can't die. Did they forgot to put that in the code? Did they forget to put that in the code? The player dies upon receiving lethal damage setting. I Josh, but also like... It seems a little silly. What's in here? Is there any reason to go back here? There's gotta be some, like, lore, right? Vanches. The door. Okay, let's, uh... Let's activate this shrine and see what happens. I got a tooth. Perk gained old tooth, a decaying old tooth that appears to have magical properties. Oh, the screen shake. Please no. Please no. Please no. Ooh. That was like even... That was like weird screen shake, too. Teleport to the next dungeon. Leave the next dungeon. Yeah. I... Only shields will block 100% of incoming damage. Makes sense. It makes sense. Where are we? We're in the Grentrap Forest. I, I, I... Yeah, I got better pants. I'm gonna use a Claymore of Slaying. Hell yeah. Current objective is to find Newall. I'll attempt to. Maybe. Oh, and every enemy drops an item and I have to go into my inventory and read it. Okay, so this, that's actually my main issue that I have with games like uh, Borderlands, Diablo, and stuff. And, like, I love Diablo. It's, it's one of the most influential games of all time. And uh, deserves all the love it gets. But my main concern, I just can't die. I can't die. I'm not allowed to die. Like, I could just take all the beatings I want in my life. This is going to keep telling me that dying is when I reach zero, but I don't actually lose when I die. 
Am I even like gaining like does money have a reason to be to be a thing? Oh no, I accidentally opened up the uh the steam work the uh, steam thing again. The steam big pay, big picture. But uh I forgot what I was talking. Oh yeah, yeah, Diablo and like Borderlands and stuff. I don't like loot vomit. I don't like loot diarrhea. When a game is like, hey, every time you kill an enemy, you can choose from 90 weapons and they all have unique properties when they're not actually unique properties. It's more like this one gives you an extra projectile and this one gives you plus two burn damage. It's it's not really unique properties. I'm not a big fan of games that do loot vomit like that, the loot diarrhea games. I don't even know what I'm... I don't even know what I'm doing. I can't die. So let me let me try to just quit out. If I exit if I, if I exit the main menu, do I get to keep my gold? Because apparently there's no other way to lose. Transfer to your stash. Where is my stash? I got no idea. I, I, I don't want to leave this on kind of a, a somber note here. Dungeons of a Deer by Monster Tooth Studios. I'm a little confused. Uh, I can see the promise in the game, but if I'm going to be perfectly blunt, which is usually what I am, and I don't hold things back, y'all got tons of work ahead of you to make this a game that people are going to return back to. I see what you're going for, I see the, the Diablo-esque dungeon crawling, and I think the dungeon runner mode itself, if it gets, like, polished up, uh, if the assets and textures and, like, the the actual environments fill out a little bit more and you're not fighting the exact same enemies, and if you fill it out a little bit more and make it more of, like, a traditional roguelike, one of the things that people love about, like, Isaacs and Gungeons is the environments and the atmosphere of the game, the music of the game, uh... So if you want to, if you eventually want to be up in that upper echelon of games like that, Nuclear Throne, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, you want to have that replayability. And you can't really have replayability if you cannot die. So, appreciate you giving me a chance to look at this game. Uh, keep me informed, if you are watching this, of course. Keep me informed on updates that come out to the game. Hopefully you implement mouse sensitivity, otherwise I will likely not return. Uh... It just makes me motion sick, is all. Mouse sensitivity in a game that uses keyboard and mouse is, like... Every game past 1997 should have that. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, of course, you know what to do. Leave a like, and of course, leave your comments down below what you think of the game. And, uh... We will catch you in the next video. This was Dungeons of Adira. We'll see you guys next time.